go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Apparently, the heavyweight division is now chasing Francis and Ganu instead of chasing each other. Uh, Deontay Wilder throw his ring in the hat. I think him and Ganu, when he had his, his wrist was injured, him and Ganu was linked up, you know, just at the gym I seen not too long ago. Um, Ganu said he would love to fight Fury Anthony Joshua. Heard he did not specifically name drop Deontay Wilder. You know, Deontay Wilder told us trying to throw his name up in the hat. I ain't mad at it. You know, he said he even even do a one in one. He just said he'd go to the go to Africa. He'd go and he can come here to the United States for a fight. He says that he would even um, he would even you know do one boxing, one mixed martial arts. Even though he don't have no training in mixed martial arts, he would do it. So at the end of the day, man, you know, I think he need to be worried about Andy Ruiz. And then you got Fury chasing Ngannou. They you know they could be in talks. As, for, as soon as uh, they could be in talks as soon as uh, this summer, and it don't look like Tyson Fury trying to fight Alexander Usyk. And I, I, I mean, I just don't. I didn't like his energy. Anytime I see him and Usyk, I ain't like his energy, bro. It just seemed like he don't want to fight Usyk for some reason. And usually, where well, there's smoke, there's fire. But uh. I need some brakes. Jesus Christ, bro. If it's the front brakes again, something else is going on. I just changed them like twice. I got lifetime warranty. They're probably the back. But, uh, but nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, man, uh, I mean, shit, I ain't mad at it. You know, I would, I would love to see him and Anthony Joshua get it on. I mean, but they all good fights. They all, they all terrific fights. Um, you would love to see these dudes fight each other. Obviously, Wilder and Fury fought each other. We want to see Usyk and Fury and Wilder and Joshua fight each other. You would love that. You would love it. So, um, you know, if he wanted to get in the octagon, that 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 make his his, his offer a little bit more appealing. So, I mean, is Fury willing to get in the octagon? You know, I, I know Dillian White kind of got a background in kickboxing, so. Maybe, you know, that'd be something that he can warm up with. But in Ghana, you know, apparently the money wasn't what it was supposed to be. So you can't be mad at that in the UFC and you want to go, go out there and get money. You probably feel like he always come back to the UFC. You know, I don't think it was Duck and John Jones. You see the ring car girl made more than him in a calendar year. You know, so he got to do his best for his family. And you know, one of the things he wanted to do was box. And Dana White tied his fighters going to boxing, and they is, 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 in his mind, tarnishing the mixed martial arts reputation because you're not going to beat no professional boxer in a boxing ring, even though he got that one hitter quitter, you know, with the with the with two, three ounce gloves on, whatever they is in the mixed martial arts. Yeah, he got that one hitter quitter, but, you know, it tarnishes the brand. You know, you're going over to boxing and the money good, you come back to MMA, then you want more money, you see what boxers getting, and then you y'all all coming back, losing to Jake Paul, getting y'all ass whooped. Now we looking like the lesser of the two combat sports, and you know, and maybe if mixed martial arts pay more, and they still in their infancy uh, when it comes to you know, uh, you know, team. So they got to work up the pain. But they clocking major figures, though. They clocking big money. They clocking big money, bro. You know, but you know, if I ain't got to pay you more, then you know that's how business work. If I ain't got it, I mean, I mean, com companies that don't really have to pay people that enjoy their job, they can get away with shit like that. But when you a small business or a company nobody want to work with, you don't want a high turnover rate, when quality matters, and it's, it's imperative, then you do the little things, you do things like that to retain your employees. See, companies that ain't, that companies that ain't about nothing, don't want to pay their employees nothing, they love high turnover. Now, if you go into a company and they turn over rate high, you know what the business is. You probably ain't gonna stick around there too long. You know, you know companies in which you know they 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 you know they love they they love you know they love the employee hard to get into them good jobs. 
You know, you know, you rarely see those 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 openings open up. Places that still got pension, you see them. So you really don't really see those type of things open up too often. But you know, at some point, that's why I always like just you know, in my mind when I when I when I when I what you call it, uh, make sure I get over. Right? You know, when I when I when I bullshit or when I sit around and you know procrastinate is what I'm looking for. When I procrastinate, bro, I, then I put something. I put something like washing miles or washing the dogs, and I procrastinate it. I be mad as hell. Then I gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? And they got be like, damn, you know. Then you gotta gotta do it. And um, you know, when I get it out the way, I feel good, bro. That's why I try to be more. The more I'm older. The more I'm proactive, the more I jump in front of something, the better I feel. The better you feel. So I try to jump as, jump out as front as much stuff as possible. It's telling me times you procrastinate, your energy level ain't there. But Dana White got to stop procrastinating and pay them boys. If you jump out in front of it, and he probably figure if I if I give an inch, they gonna want to take a mile. Man, give a couple inches, bro. Like this, is what we willing to do? Woo, woo, woo. What they gonna say? He's doing just what Bob Aram doing is creating his own competitors. That's what he's doing. He's doing exactly what Bob Aram doing. You know, didn't treat Oscar right, didn't treat Floyd right. And guess what? You know, they became his, you know, they created to be his arch rivals. It's crazy. But the, the, the combat sport game, especially the boxing game, it's, it's crook. It's crooked. It's crooked as the music industry, bro. If not more crooked. That's what Alan Hamer sat here and made a home. That's what business is. It's about finessing, you know, the, you know, the loophole in the government, finessing the workers, all that. It ain't just you. I always say this. It ain't just that you gotta have a mind, bro. You got you gotta be heartless to do some of the stuff that they do. You gotta be heartless, bro. It ain't too much different from from being a, a crack dealer or a drug dealer. I'm telling you, they what they say in the Bible, all sins are, are created equal. Man, they, a lot of they sins, damn, they're the same, same, same thing. I'm telling you, that's why so many, that's why so many entrepreneurs, that's why so many, you know, street dudes do so well in business. Once you get, once you get the brute strength mentality out of it, and you learn to play on, on the on that intellectual level, you can't just bust a nigga in his cheeks. Most of them dudes tend to, tend to thrive. They tend to thrive in, in that environment. Yup, they tend to thrive in that environment. And this and it's a huge reason why. It's the same dirty gang. As heartless as Biggie had to be in uh, Notorious to serve a pregnant lady crack, <laughs> they, they do a lot of equally and worse stuff than that in the business world. You know? And that's just real, that's real stuff, bro. And everybody want to kind of separate them and act like one better than the other? Nah. It ain't. But, uh, but back to Wilder, throwing his hat in there. That'd be a good fight. These dudes desperate for big fights, but don't nobody want to work together. But everybody want to go try to find the route of least resistance. Or trying to find a big money fight. I ain't mad at these dudes, man. But we can't get these dudes in the ring with each other. Don't like Fury trying to get in that ring with Usi. And Joshua ain't trying to get in the ring with Wilder. And I understand, you know, Joshua got to get some fights under his belt and all that type of stuff. And, you know, old boy with Derrick James 9 and all that. I get it. I get it. You know, but that fight should have been happening. Word to the mother. Shout out to Kobe in New York, niggas. Word to the mother. <laughs> <laughs> New York guys have premium slang, man. Not, not no more, man. Not no more. But Jay Electronica says y'all was jacking the southern niggas slang while calling them niggas lame. Mmm. 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 Lace your Tim's up when Jay Electronica, you know, when he decided to really rap and Jay Z don't sabotage his album. But, uh, because that album he had was trash. I'm like, they put that shit up for a Grammy? Should have been up for a whammy. But that shit was trash. Trash. <laughs> but, 
But uh, but yeah, I, I, you know, I support Wilder and, and Ganu. So if I can get to Africa, I go support that. Well, Deontay goes like, Deontay, kumbaye, Deontay, kumbaye. And he go do that. And Ganu ain't trying to bark up that tree. Shit, I'm like trying to get hit with that water right here. Shit, water around. I be quiet. I be asked for an autograph. When he gone, I be talking shit again. Shit, I'm like trying to get hit with that right here. Ain't talking about anybody that dates my daughter's got to spa with me. Nigga, man, do I get to bring a, do I get to bring a 40 cal in that motherfucking M14? You know, fuck a, fuck, a, fuck a Glock. Shit, let me bring motherfucking MP4 or some shit. I'm about to fight this this motherfucking Alabama, you know, animal? Hell no. Nah. But yeah, I, I, I like to see it, bro. It'll be interesting. Well, why would I think you could just train for UFC for a couple months and for six months? You better ask Clarissa Shields, man. That's a process. Because they hold their hands different. You got to learn, you know, the, the shield, the kicks. You got to, because they don't hold their hands like that, for, you know, because they got to see the they gotta see kicks coming and all that. That's why they hold their hands. This is, I learned a lot, bro. Uh, my boy out there in Oakland was telling me, man, I learned a lot just talking to him. man. you know, Lion Killer, he into all of that. Then you got to work not to get tucking down. And it's just more to it. So it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the Box News playlist, Heavyweight Boxing Talk playlist. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. He was on uh, WAC, uh, I'll get a name out, Trill Boxing Talk. I read the article on Boxing News 24, so shout out to their whole asses. Peace.